Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. In this video, I'm going to review the new DVR feature on the ZapperBox, along with the ability to decode DRM encrypted ATSC 3.0 broadcasts. In a previous video, I highlighted the built in ATSC 3.0 tuner on the ZapperBox and how it brought in more channels in several locations compared to a regular ATSC 1.0 tuner. Now, we'll get to see just how well it works as a DVR and for DRM encrypted ATSC 3.0 channels. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. While this video is sponsored by Zapperbox, the company received no editorial input or early preview of this video. They are seeing it for the first time, just like you. So Zapperbox has a ton of features, including a built-in ATSC 3.0 tuner, channel guide, signal meter, the ability to run a channel scan without deleting current channels, and channel scan on a specific RF channel. For those of you unfamiliar with the technical terms, ATSC 3.0, or Next Gen TV, is a new over-the-air TV standard launching in the United States with features including better reception, better picture quality, and more. ATSC 1.0 is the current over-the-air TV standard used in every market on most TVs, and while it will be around for a long time, probably at least 10 years, some users may benefit from the better reception aspect of ATSC 3.0 if in a weak signal area. Recently, Zapperbox released a firmware update that enables DVR functionality with support for DRM encrypted ATSC 3.0 channels. Zapperbox offers a free basic and subscription tier for guide data service with the DVR. The free tier includes one day of channel guide data and will let you record the channel you're watching or schedule a recording based on the channel and time, but you can't schedule an upcoming recording from the channel guide. The subscription tier includes a 14-day channel guide, the ability to schedule recordings within the channel guide, and a search feature. All Zapperbox units come with a 30-day free trial of the subscription tier, which is what I'll be demonstrating in this video. If you purchase a Zapperbox sometime before September, all you need to do is insert a micro SD card, run the software update, and you'll be able to use it as a DVR. Now, it's very important to use a good quality micro SD card for the DVR. Don't just purchase the cheapest one you see on Amazon or it may not work smoothly. I strongly recommend purchasing a Samsung Pro Endurance Series micro SD card. You can find links in the description of the video. When I first tried out the DVR feature, I noticed the channel guide didn't work beyond 12 hours for channels that were out of market. This was an issue for me because I actually rely on what are considered out-of-market channels for major networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, as the in-market channels from Philadelphia are terrain blocked at the house I currently live in. Only 12 hours of channel guide data made it difficult to schedule recordings of shows that aired in the coming days unless I record a series. Zapperbox told me this issue is from their guide data provider not automatically providing info for out-of-market channels. The problem was eventually fixed through a custom guide data solution manually set by Zapperbox, but it wouldn't surprise me if some of you who pick up out-of-market channels run into this issue. If you notice that guide data isn't listed beyond a few hours on some channels that are considered out-of-market, contact Zapperbox and they should solve the problem. Getting back to the DVR, you can record up to two shows at once depending on whether you have the single or dual tuner zapper box. Using the DVR feature is very easy. Obviously, you can press the record button on the remote to record what you're watching. But the other way is to go through the channel guide and schedule recordings of upcoming shows, which I'm sure most of you will do. It gives you the option to record just one program or all upcoming episodes, and even advanced options like starting the recording early or ending it late. Perfect for live sporting events. You can use the search feature to look for upcoming programs, which is very helpful if you're not sure when and where a certain program airs, such as a live sporting event. Recordings can be accessed by pressing the DVR button on the remote. They are sorted by the date they were recorded. The tabs on the side include your library of recordings, scheduled recordings, series that were recorded, the manual recording option, and recording history. 
I did notice that the recordings start about 30 seconds prior to the airtime, which is actually a good thing. When fast forwarding, there aren't any thumbnails to see what you're passing through, which may result in a bit of trial and error to skip to a certain part of a show or past commercials. Even if you don't record a channel, you can time shift within it from the time you start watching it. As a heads up, the signal meter is now accessed by pressing the zap button on the remote and selecting antenna setup. This is very helpful to fine tune the antenna to get the best reception possible. Now, I'm going to get into the latest Zapperbox update that enables DRM encrypted channels on ATSC 3.0 to decode. For now, the Zapperbox requires an internet connection in order to decode DRM encrypted channels on ATSC 3.0, which is a temporary solution until the company releases an update that decodes DRM encrypted channels without internet connectivity. To be clear, my frustration in recent videos about DRM encryption is towards the broadcasting industry as a whole and not at specific manufacturers like Zapperbox. I truly appreciate the effort this company has made to get their unit DRM certified so people who were previously locked out of accessing local channels can now watch them. Unlike other ATSC 3.0 tuners on the market, the Zapperbox had no issues at all decoding DRM encrypted channels in my area. Here's a video capture in real time showing it decoding every single TV station in the Philadelphia market that has DRM encryption turned on. I will say that it does take a few seconds for each channel to load up, but that's more of an issue with the TV standard and not the Zapper box itself. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Tratarse, los síntomas pueden volverse más severos. USA Bain Clinics. Thanks to the ATSC 3.0 broadcast signal, I was able to gain the ABC affiliate, WPVI, which can't be picked up in ATSC 1.0 with the current antenna I have set up. I noticed the 3.0 signal was much stronger than even the 1.0 signals on UHF. The ATSC 1.0 signal of Fox was about 16 dB and 23% on the signal meter, while the ATSC 3.0 signal was significantly stronger at about 23 dB and 43% on the signal meter. DRM encrypted channels still play if the internet connection is lost. It's only a problem if another channel is tuned to. Those of you who are looking for a great standalone DVR that connects directly to the TV and access to local channels in ATSC 3.0 with better picture and reliability, the Zapper Box is a great solution. Once again, I truly applaud the company for their dedication to this unit with their constant updates to make it function as well as it does today. With continued updates on the horizon, it will get even better with time. A huge thanks to Zapperbox for sponsoring this video, supporting my YouTube channel, and giving me the opportunity to once again review their great unit. I must say this is probably the best experience you will get for an ATSC 3.0 tuner, since it can successfully decode DRM encrypted channels in all markets. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos help you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or sign up to my email list linked in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.